Hey, good morning everyone. This is my ninth attempt at the intro to this video. Keep screwing up my words. I got nine eBay orders going out for $363.59. So a decent morning of uh, shipping out some items here. There's Paul. How's it going guys? We've already been listening a little bit this morning. I got a, a eBay video uploading right now. So it'll be done in like six months or so. Uh, yeah, we got eBay polls. We got a couple pretty cool sales in there. Some stuff that we just purchased to resell too that went out uh, quick. Um, then we're gonna show a couple things that we're gonna list here in the next couple hours. Kind of get our uh, item total for the day up for there pretty good. Um, we're gonna go off of Paul's phone here. What's the yep, first we'll thing, Paul? The first thing is right here in one B. It's another pack of these Papa Point pencils for the same price, twelve dollars. Yeah, we got one more free in there. Free shipping on them. Yep, twelve dollars free shipping. I can't another believe offer. how cheap they are. But uh, and it takes a while to sell too. It's not like they're underpriced or anything. Uh, happy it's going out though. We'll make like probably super light. We'll probably make like uh, eight bucks on that before fees and uh, we'll taxes. The next one to be <laughs> yeah. It's this. Uh, you listed this. It's a lion-headed shoehorn. I think it is. Yeah. By Reed and Barton there. Yeah, silver plate. Yeah, this sold $13.30 free shipping. Nice, is the next one in the drawer three? <laughs> no, I was going to double E. Double E. That is right here. It's Paul's bra size. Nope, this is uh, what I listened yesterday. Oh, that tractor? Yeah. I didn't even know where it was. I thought it was over there. Nice. This I listed yesterday. It's a vintage 1989 Ertl John Deere 8300 diecast tractor. This is 1 16th scale. And this sold $55 plus shipping on that. Yeah, this is our first sale from the Baker Buy. If you don't know what that is, go to our last video. Uh, the, actually, the one I'm posting right now. And uh, it's, at the end of that video, it shows everything we got from the Baker Buy where we spent $635. This is the first sale Paul listed it yesterday. 55 bucks coming back to us already. Next is on um, rack one. You'll have to grab it because it's over my rack head. Rack one? Uh, it's that driver. Oh, okay. It's a Yonix. Yeah. Yonix uh, XP E Zone driver with a 90 degree right handed EX300 stiff flex graphite shaft. You want to take the cover off that real yeah. quick? Happy this sold. Got this. Got this club. Got this one that just sold. $67 plus shipping. Um, and we got a set of irons that sold for like $235 and a whole bunch of Vera Bradley stuff for $65 total. So it was a great buy. Almost every single piece of that, um, as far as the golf clubs, got our $65 bucks back. We got the one more left to sell, and that's listed for like $75 also. Um, basically tripled the money, if not quadrupled the money, just up the iron set. So that was an awesome buy, and still got a couple of Vera Bradley pieces to sell. But we also got like seventy or eighty bucks back from that part of the buy too. The next one's the one you listed yesterday. You picked up the ground set. Oh. It's a Nylon Vacationer, the teal and white Ford Nylon Vacationer trailer. That's vintage. That sold sixty dollars plus shipping. Right? Yeah. Picked that up. How much? Ten bucks for this one. Is that a garage sale just yeah. over the weekend? Yeah. Um, I had looked it up already on my phone. I didn't know it would be worth the ten bucks, but I thought at least get forty or fifty. Um, I think part of the big thing on this, I mean, obviously it's missing paint chips and stuff. I think the big thing on this is that latch for that door works. You have to lift up on the door and it opens. That probably gets damaged a lot. The wheels roll good. It's not all lopsided or anything. Ten dollars into sixty. I do that every okay. single day though. Next one's in little tote. Especially only here. a day to. It's not that unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> what is this like nine fifty plus free shipping? Uh, I'll tell you right now. That is a Spode England Christmas tree green trim, four and a half inch heart shaped. Little dish. Yep, there it is. Heart shaped dish. Uh, nine fifty free shipping. It is super super light, so we'll make like four or five dollars on that. These are the nine ninety nine free shippings that are just on a sale, guys. That's why you see this nine fifty. Um, if you saw that Star Wars action figure in there, you might not have seen my our YouTube short. We actually picked that up locally in our hometown. We paid sixty dollars a piece. There was that one, 
and there's four more right here. So as when one sells, we'll list another one. We have that one listed for 170 or 180? 170. 170, I believe. Um, it has a couple watches on it already. We figured we'd at least get 140 to 150 a piece and hopefully a little bit higher on a couple of them. Um, $60 a piece, so we're $300 all in. We should make like 300, 400 off that whole deal. This was a garage sale find yeah, too. Grind grab. Not a good one. I don't even know what you paid for. I think I only paid five bucks, but it was just annoying. It was annoying to deal with. And what did it sell for? 18? 19. 19 bucks? Yeah, um, 19 plus bucks shipping. plus shipping. This is a Klein Fall Arrest positioning harness, size large, with a rope. Um, I can't read the number, it's stupid. $19 plus shipping. Can you show us. me real quick? Or show them. It's just a harness for, uh, what, just climbing, right? No, not climbing, for fall or us. So you don't fall off a roof. Oh, so you don't fall off a roof, okay. Like, it's your... When I, that's what it was. I bought it thinking it was tree climbing gear, just by the looks of it, and then it was just like a falling arrest system to keep you from, like you know, ocean dying. safety. Yeah, safety like thing. And stuff. Still made a little bit of money on it, but it wasn't really a good pickup. It was kind of annoying. I just knew that tree climbing gear was super, super expensive, and it just turned out not being that. That was also the same buy in videos ago where I bought a BB gun for 60 that we sold for 80, so I was killing it on that sale. <laughs> Box 110. I don't even know what we're looking for. Um, Box 110 first. And then um, the, the back side of these has... Uh... It's got, it's got to be, yeah, it's got to be one of these ones. They're facing this way, so you can read them. Um, that one. Top? Yep. What are we looking for? I'll tell you in a second. Oh, I know. Peanuts one. Yeah. Peanuts is it the ornament 50th anniversary. Is it the one with his hat, though? Because we sent the... Yes, that's it. Right there. It is? Yep. Okay, let me just make sure this is another box. Yep, okay. So that sold $17. Free shipping on that. Nice. Waterford Crystal, Snoopy ornament. 50 year celebration too. It was originally 25 bucks. Next but not least here in D19 in our little tackle box. Got a little dink sale. First sale of the day yesterday. That's Smurfs pen. Yeah. Happy Smurf day, $8.54 with free shipping. So a bunch of small ones and a few nice ones there. 55. 60 67 those really made the day a couple filler sales in there we'll get these uh packaged up and shit up shipped out we got a we're gonna have to frankenbox something for this because we don't have something usually we have stuff from the gun shop next door but they were out of uh stuff too and usually we have a couple up in here so we'll probably take we'll probably take this box right here that thin one and then add a thicker box for the head and tape it all up at the end. I've done that before a long time ago. Yes. Um, yeah, just something like that. Or yeah, just or if there's a smaller square one to add to the end. Um, check this out. Spigo Telephone Corporation. We just sold the brass signs that was on a different doorway of the same building for three hundred dollars. I got another one to list. So basically the exact same size, everything. It's just worded different, and unfortunately with that one that's on the ground right there, I only have two of the original hardware pieces. Uh, the last one I had all four. So that had just sold for 300, so I'm probably gonna put 350 on this because I think the other one was at 350. Um, and Paul, what do you got? What are you gonna do? I'm um, listing this box of the rest of the tractor implements. Yep. I did all the tractors already, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the rest of this tote is my next venture. And I'm gonna slide this tote over and I'm gonna finish this. Except for the video game stuff that's in there, that's you. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. But I'm gonna finish this tote, that's the plans for today. Yeah, um, I'm going to do that sign and then I have a Vera Bradley purse from a garage sale and all these Dinosaurs, some of them are Jurassic Park figures. I'm gonna get those listed. And then I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna start listing these uh, marquees off of uh, arcade games from the 80s. 
which are just to me are just awesome. Not something you originally find. Um, Paul was telling me too that, I mean, you can see the little stack of them here. We showed this in another video too, probably our last one. Paul was telling me that the person that we bought this from, his boss has was the one that came across these. What were they cleaning out? An old bowling alley? Yeah, bowling alley. He said there was hundreds. Hundreds of, hundreds of them. These are just the ones that he kept because he thought they were cool. The rest of them went to a freaking dumpster. <laughs> so I hate hearing stories like that. Uh, it's not even that I even care about the items or anything like that. I just know that that would have been so awesome if they held on to it so we could get them out to people that care about them and we could make money off them and stuff. Those are going to be kind of cool to list. I doubt we'll find something similar to that, but if you ever see something like that, look up the word marquee, arcade marquee. That's what the keyword we figured out to actually look these up. So that'd be fun listing those. And then we got a ton of action figures buried in here. G.I. Joe's and Ninja Turtle stuff. That's going to be down the line after I take care of all those other things. So Paul, you got anything else? Nope, I'm gonna start shipping as you see me go. Yeah, Paul gets right to shipping as soon as that last thing hits the table. I'm gonna get uh, printing out labels here and get these all boxed up. Please comment, like, and subscribe. We just hit 1,450 subs this morning. Let's see if we can get to 1,500 or so uh, after this weekend or something like that, by the end of this week maybe. Uh, again, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the next one. See you guys in the next one. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.